Happy Wednesday, everyone. Um, it's Jill here with another Bible story and STEM challenge. Um, today, we're going to be moving from the Old Testament to the New Testament. So we've been on our new Old Testament kick. We're moving to the New Testament for a very special reason. And that reason is um, today we're going to be learning the story of Jesus Calls a Fisherman, which is, spoiler alert, tomorrow's Bible, um, VBS story. So if you're doing the virtual, the Backyard Bolt VBS at home, um, awesome. I hope you're having fun with it. Um, I'm having fun here with my kids. Uh, I've heard from several families that they're having a good time with it. So um, keep having fun. Keep learning. Um, we're going to be covering the story tomorrow, and I'm excited to cover the story in VBS tomorrow and go a little bit more in depth. Um, however, if you're not doing VBS with us and this is something you'd be interested in, awesome. Um, the great thing about a virtual backyard program is really you can do it whenever you want, whatever fits your schedule. So if this week didn't work for you, you could always do it next week. Um, or you could just start doing it now and get caught up with us, whatever would work best for you. Um, let me know. Um, Jill at stpaulonline.org or just put a comment um, in this on this post and I can reach out to you to make sure you have all the resources and supplies that you need in order to do this program at home. Um, it's a really great fun way for us to begin summer and to like, grow our faith through VBS. Um, it's not the same, um, but it is a great program nonetheless. Um, so um, let me know if you're interested in VBS. Let's go ahead and dive right into the um, today's task, however, which is Jesus Calls the Fishermen. So if you have the Deep Blue Storybook Bible, like me, um, go ahead and head to page 223. If you don't, no worries. Um, any Bible will do. Go to Matthew, the book of Matthew. So that's in the New Testament, chapter 4, verse 18 through 22. I'm going to go ahead and dive right in so I can get you to this really fun STEM challenge. One day, Jesus was walking along the Galilean Sea when he saw two fishermen. One fisherman's name was Peter, and the other one's name was Andrew. Peter and Andrew were brothers. The brothers were fishing with their fishing net. Jesus called out to the brothers, Come, follow me. I will teach you how to fish for people. Peter and Andrew left their nets and followed Jesus. Jesus walked down the shore where he saw two more brothers, James and John. They were mending their nets with their father. Jesus said to the men, Come and follow me. James and John left their boat and their father and followed Jesus. And so in our picture, you can see James and John look to be um, mending the nets with their father and they ended up following Jesus and so leaving their father behind. And so that's um, a couple things from the story I want to highlight. The first one is that, so James and John left their dad, which was probably a really, really hard thing to do, right? Um, it would be scary to go off with someone that you don't really know um, and to leave your family behind knowing that you're going to make life more difficult. But James and John knew that what they needed to do was to follow Jesus. And so sometimes the hard thing or the right thing can be a hard thing to do. Um, but God gives us the strength we need to get through hard things. And so that's the first lesson I want to take from this story. And the second lesson I want to take from the story is, so Jesus called these fishermen. So he said, come follow me. Through the scripture, Jesus calls us to be his um, eyes and ears and voice in the world. Because Jesus, he ascended up into heaven last week, right? And so um, we're here on earth and we're supposed to be doing his... Um, work out in the world because he isn't around to do that. So Jesus called us just like he called those four fishermen. And so we want to remember that and think about ways that we can best live out Jesus's message and shine his light into this world. And so be thinking about ways that you can do that this week. Um, and while you're maybe brainstorming, you can be get busy creating. Um, today's STEM challenge is to create um, a fishing device or implement. So um, in the story, we see that Peter and Andrew and James and John, they were all fishing with nets. And so if you want to create a net, um, that could be something fun, I think, that you can get really creative and crafty with. Um, suggested materials, um, string or yarn are the obvious choices. Um, if you want to think a little bit more outside the box, if you've got a ton of like shopping bags, plastic shopping bags from Walmart or Schnucks or whatever or grocery store, um, I've got a ton. Um, they're not allowing you to take them to drop off to recycle anymore, and you're not allowed to use your reusable, reusable tote. So I've got a ton of them. And so I'm thinking I'm going to be crafting a net with um, some plastic bags that all kind of knot together. We'll see how that turns out. Um, if you don't want to go the route of nets, um, you don't have to fish with a net, right? They were fishing with a net, but we fish with um, fishing poles and rods and reels. And so you can get creative and use any type of recyclables for that, um, some yarn, stick. You can even probably use all the any materials that you find outside to complete this craft. So um, get creative with it, have fun with it. Um, once again, as always, I'd love to see pictures if you manage to create um, some type of fishing device or implement. Um, 
yeah, have a great Wednesday, guys. We're going to close in prayer. Before I do, let me remind you, Jesus loves you. So do I. Um, keep being awesome. Um, and I'm so glad that you are here with me, even if we aren't actually together. Gracious God, thank you so much for sending Jesus to show us how to be fishers of people. Please help us to live out the lessons he taught us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a great day.